Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see uh, what you can expect for the next 24 to 48 hours. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video where the show more section is. Okay, guys, otherwise, let's go ahead and let's begin with the reading. Okay, we've got the Hierophant's energy. Um, I'm seeing commitment. Okay, I feel like commitment is you're committing. Okay, you're committing to someone, you're committing to an ID, um, you could be committing to. Like it's it's you're committing to something. It just feels like it's either a project, it's a new opportunity, it's a new romantic opportunity. Um, it's you know you you're committed to uh, working out more. You're committed to eating healthy. I feel like you're finally. To me, it just feels like you're finally making up your mind. Okay, so you're keeping a commitment to your commitments. That's the kind of energy that you're in. You're very focused. In fact, you're laser focused on whatever this is. And to me, just commitment comes in very strongly. You could find out that someone that you're romantically involved with. Um, or that you're romantically connected to, actually wants to make things official. So they want a commitment, they want a relationship, they'll tell you um, that they want something a little bit more serious, okay? Or it could be you, you could, yeah, there you go, you could potentially, you know, turn around and say that you're wanting commitment and that you're wanting to solidify things, okay? You're wanting to make things official, okay? Um, whatever this is, so if this is a, like a romantic energy, it feels like this person is on the same wavelength. So they're vibrating to the same emotional frequency, they're on the same page, they want what you want, you want what they want, you're vibing, okay? If it's an opportunity, a work opportunity, or, you know, whatever other opportunity you may be connected to, it just feels like you've attracted this opportunity, okay? So this opportunity has responded to your energy, it's been placed in your path for a reason, you're ready for it, and you want to commit to it, okay? So this is like... Yeah, who, whoever or whatever this is, this is an opportunity that is responding to um, your energy. I'm also seeing that some things here are finally coming together. Okay, so if you've been working on a project or if you've been working on an assignment, if you've been working on something for a while, for some of you, maybe you've had... You've been working on building a connection with someone and, you know, it's been a very slow moving, slow building connection. You might have started off as friends, but I see that it's finally moving into the romantic territory, okay? You've, um, sure, it's been a slow burn, okay, but it just feels like it's finally coming together here. Be careful to not get caught up or involved in any drama, because I feel like there's someone out who, someone around you, could be in the workplace, could be someone close to you, they're out to pick a bone with you. I don't know what their issue is, but this person is just, they might have woken up on the wrong side of the bed, they just may not be in a good mood. I just feel like this person is... They're either drama, okay, there could be a bit of a drama queen or king, um, or this person is just, you know, misery loves company. I don't know if they're just in a foul mood and you, you just happen to get in the way, or if this is someone who's, um, yeah, they've got a bone to pick uh, with you. So if you can, stay clear of any workplace gossip, don't get caught up um, in it, and just be careful, watch out for any misunderstandings, because I feel like um, in the next 24 to 48 hours, they're going to be times okay conversations times uh where i feel like a verbal exchange with someone whether romantic energy or boss or a work colleague um it might potentially be you know words might be misconstrued um they might be misunderstood and as, as a result it could lead to a heated discussion um you know some sort of verbal aggression a fight a disagreement and it's all because you know someone said the wrong thing or someone said it in the wrong tone of voice or someone misunderstood what was being said it just feels like whatever this is it's just it could have been easily avoided is what i'm trying to say something here okay either someone wants to balance things out with you or someone wants to even things out with you or you need to balance even things out with someone okay um i'm also seeing that if you've applied for a loan, or if you you might, or if you asked a friend for some financial assistance, 
I feel like this person will um, will agree to help you out if you've applied for a loan it's very likely that it, it's going to get approved um, if you've asked if you've asked yeah for financial assistance from a friend or a connecting energy it's very likely this person you know is, a, is, in, a, is in a position to help you out or will want to help you out um, otherwise if you've lent money to a friend then it's very likely this person is likely um, is going to pay you back um, very soon okay as soon as 24 to 48 hours of this reading um, the past calls here for some of you I feel like the past calls I don't know maybe yeah six of swords flew out um, the past calls I don't know if it's got anything new to say I don't know Okay, for some of you, you're going to, you're potentially thinking about going back to someone or going back to something. Here's the thing, whatever this is, you know, there's troubled waters here, okay? Remember that you walked away from this, okay? You walked away from it because, you know, at some point it just, it no longer was serving you or it no longer was what you needed it to be. So the past calls, I don't know that it's got anything new to say. I don't. Um, for others of you, I feel like the past calls here, but see, it's still got a very strong hold, okay? And you can't keep running away from whatever this is. For some of you, you've been trying to run away from, from something, okay? And whatever it is and wherever you've been running to, the past is very much a huge part of you. You know, whatever has happened here, no matter how difficult or how challenging it was, it shaped you and it, you know, molded you into the very person that you are today, Um like, you don't have to let the past define you, absolutely not, but I think, you know, you still carry such, like, wherever it is that you try to run to, it will always be a part of you, so you need to confront it head on, so st if the past is calling, you know, you need to confront it, you need to sit with it, otherwise, you know, it's going to chase you down, it will, so... You know, whether it's someone like a romantic energy from the past, um, maybe you need closure on the situation. And maybe the fact that this person is going to get in contact with you or you want to get in contact with them will give you the closure that you need to finally, you know, move forward from it. And that's just an example. Um, there's something here that you've been working extremely hard on. Okay, something that you've been you've been giving it a lot of your time, your, a lot of your energy, perhaps even your financial resources to it. And some of you, you feel like it's been taken a long time. It's been taking a long time to build. It's been taking a long time to finally see the results. Um, keep working at it, okay? Don't give up because I feel like you're so close to the finishing line or you're so close to finally seeing results. The Seven um, of Pentacles is a card about long-term benefits, okay? There's no such thing as overnight success. So if you've been building um, on, you know, if you've been working on a project, or if you've been building on something, it, it has been a slow burn. Suit of Pentacles is more of a slow moving um, energy. It has been a slow burn. But just because you haven't seen the results just yet doesn't mean that it's not happening for you. Things are happening behind the surface, behind the curtain, sorry. And over the next 24 to 48 hours, you might see, even though the evidence might be small, you might see evidence and results of whatever it is you're working on to start showing up in your life. So just be patient with yourself and understand, you know, if it's whatever it is that you're working on, even if it has been a slow progress, understand that this is towards your future and there are long-term benefits attached to this very thing. Okay, something is keeping you up at night. Something here is troubling you. Could have something to do with, you know, the whole notion of the past. The past having a firm, strong grip, a strong hold on you. Okay, you might need to let something go. It's an energy of guilt. It's an energy of, um, it's a heavy energy. It's an energy that clearly keeps you up at night, you know, troubles you, weighs you down. Um, you might potentially find yourself overthinking and overanalyzing something a lot. Um, you know, going back and replaying something. Um, it just feels like some sleepless nights or some troubled nights here. It just feels like some of you aren't getting enough sleep. Some of you are just too active. You're overthinking things. Um, you're not get, getting enough mental rest, okay? Um, and it's kind of, um, it could be interfering with your focus. Um, for others of you, I just feel like 
there's something here that you keep going back to again and again and again. Um, and I think that you're overanalyzing this. I honestly think that it's not as bad as you're making it out to be. I think that the more you focus on, the more that it amplifies um, and the worse that it seems. But it's not all that bad. And it has a hold of you. It feels like it's controlling you more than you're controlling it. Something to do with the past. You know, maybe you're still stuck on the past or still stuck on a person from the past or a situation in the past that didn't necessarily work out. It was what it was. You know, it will be what it will be. So whatever it is, you know, release it, let it go. Because um, it's just too much of a heavy energy. It's just, it's weighing you down. You need to release, you know, release whatever this is. Detach from it. Um, for others of you, I just think it's sleepless nights, okay? It's just, I just think you're, you've been maybe too, um, you know, you've been working too hard. You've been putting in a lot of work, um, extra hours maybe at work. Uh, so make sure you get enough rest, okay? Because some of that I feel like is interfering with your, you know, your home time, with your rest time. So just make sure you're looking after yourself. Make sure you're getting um, enough rest. Okay, guys, these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.